one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think it was the beginning of last summer. I had a really, really bad week. And a new friend of mine, uh, she suggested we spend the day together. So don't ask me how, but I ended up at five in the afternoon in Christian church. And, you know, we were there and after all the singing and the karaoke and everything, uh, we went for dinner with her Christian friends. And one of them asked me, knowing that I was an outsider, <laughs> he asked me, well, how do you feel about all this? You know, the whole idea of Christianity. And I was like, oh, you don't really want to ask me that question because I don't want to, you know, offend you or be rude or whatever. He was like, no, no, I won't feel offended. So I hope nobody here will feel offended. But what I said to him is that it felt to me very convenient to turn to church and the kind of society that we're living in. Uh, and I said to him, I feel we live in a society where there is a lot of loneliness. It's very difficult to have a healthy amount of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a great hatred for uncertainty. So as soon as you turn to church, there's a few of these things that are solved, which is uh, you're not alone. At least once a week, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're instantly accepted because you share one of the beliefs, so that makes you accepted in the group. And they tell you that God is this thing that never, ever changes. It's always the same and always is in the same place. So even if I say it was really convenient, it seemed to me convenient, I also got me thinking that it had a good side. You know, all this community thing, it, it was a really good side. So when I... When I thought today how I would explain to you what Prea Collectiva is, I thought rather I'd just say how it works or what it is, which we can talk later about it, and it can change. I thought how I can I share with you my gut feeling that collective is a really important thing, that building creative collective is so important. Um, and this brought me to think about this story with my friend, because I am a very independent creator, but I thrive in collaboration. And it's not only that I like um, to share with others, to exchange, to support others and get support, or call in help when I need something. It is that the collective can be my church. It can be the place um, where through the support of my members, I can reach my most honest work. That I can push my boundaries because I am within the safety net of my collective. And it's where I can be the most vulnerable. And guess what? Vulnerability is the birthplace of creativity. So if within the creative collective, I can create my highest creative work ever. And it's not only, whew, good time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not only that, um, you know, that, it, that is unreaching individually for me and my work and getting the best out of my creativity. It's also that I believe that true creativity is very connected to our soul and to our humanity. And for that reason, it is um, the creative word that comes from there is also very responsible. It's socially responsible, it's commercially, economically responsible, and also with the environment. Because I can think about ideas of, or, or examples that I've seen of true creativity that try to tell you that your body size is wrong, or that your car doesn't tell enough how masculine you are, or that if you don't renew your clothes every six months, you don't belong. So when I thought about all this, how to tell you what Crea Collectiva is, I want to create a creative collective <laughs> that is a church for its members where they can find support, connections, and collaborators, but it can also find a safe place to, to reach the highest potential into their work. And that creative work will be one that speaks about the world and to the world in a different way, in a better way, in a more responsible way. Mm -hmm. <laughs>